A heavy downpour early this morning didn't deter legions of FDC delegates from thronging Mandela Stadium Nambole to take part in the polls to usher in new leadership of their party. Security was tight at different pockets of the stadium. A section of people gave their views about the election. Whoever goes through is our candidate and will remain our party president and we shall call upon all those ones who have segregations that we've not got a good party president to come together so that we can work with him. This election is going to determine the 2021 elections. We need to be organized. What this election means today to FDC and to the members of the public, it means that FDC does not only speak about democracy, but it also practices it. The FDC party chairman Waswabirigua warned against cleavages within the party. Whoever wins or loses today, I want you to, you to know they shall be tomorrow. Okay? Nobody has ever left this party because one, his camp has lost. I don't think that after today's results that FDC, is, FDC will split up. No, it won't. We've been there from 2011, when Jeremut was, context, was contesting with Nadala Mafavi, we had said the same issues, but he managed, he managed, he managed to put the party together and we moved forward. Later, the candidates led by incumbent Major General Mogisha Muntu arrived at the venue. <laughs> The guest speaker from Ghana's The New Patriotic Party, Samuel Pine, advised the FDC leadership on building sustainable party structures. To the business community, how do we get to them? Not only about hitting the streets, but strategizing, doing targeting of the various people that we want to talk to. This, this, what we do and do it well, I believe we win victory for the forum. All the four candidates were given 25 minutes each to sell their message to the electorate. Ali Mivle.